Yeah, welcome to Easy Learning Tutorial Class on YouTube. Question we have today is on first principle. This is our second lesson. We said first principle differentiation. So find the y dx from first principle, given that y is equal to this. Anytime the question is given to you in differentiation, say you should dif differentiate by first principle. If you fail to do that using first principle and use another method, you will get a zero. So when we mention use first principle, that's the reason why we are learning how to use first principle right now. Let's go to the solution of this problem. Solution. This is y equals to 2x squared minus 7x plus 6. Mean that y is a function of x. Means y is what? Function of what? x. And is equals to 2x squared minus 7x plus 6. And this can be stated as f of x equals to 2x squared minus 7x plus 6. That means y is a function of x. Y depends on x. Just like when you have this volume, uh, let me say area of a circle, which is pi r squared. I can state this as area is a function of r and is equal to pi r squared. What does it mean? That this area depends on what r. Why pi is a constant to 2 over 7? Why this r is only the variable there? I can also say area is equal to length times breadth. And I can state this statement as what? Area is a function of length times length and what? Breadth. And is equal to length times breadth. So that would be by function of. So let's go to what we have here. Then immediately we have already known this. We have to bring our formula, which we'll drive in our first lesson. Formula for differentiation using first principle. We say that formula says infinity change in y is equal to f of what x plus infinity change in x minus f of what x. That is the formula. Then let us interpret this formula. We are f of x, f of x. Uh, we are the f of x plus infinity change in x. Look at it. We are this man. Is equal to. When in this equation, which they give me, when I have used x plus infinity change in x to replace all the x in that equation, this man is equal to this. Well, look at it. Look at the equation they give me. I have 2 here, 2x. Two I have to replace that x with what? x plus infinity change in x. Then the same x is squared. I have to square it. Then minus 7. After that 7 and a half x here, I have to replace it with what? x plus infinity change in x. I close by the plus what? 6. That becomes this one. Then, and the f of x, which is this, is already equal to 2x squared minus 7x plus what? 6. You have this it? Therefore, this is my formula, infinity change in y equals to f of what x plus infinity change in x minus f of what x becomes, becomes, what is it going to become? He becomes infinity change in y equals to, in bracket 2 into x plus infinity change in x squared minus 7 into x plus infinity change in x close plus 6 then in bracket I have minus which I have 2x squared minus 7x plus what 6 I close the bracket which this man belongs to what this man why this man belongs to this man why this minus is a constant which is look at it here is a constant in that form this minus is constant in the formula then let's go over here to Finish the rest. Finish change in y equals to what I have there is what? 2 into x plus infinite change in x r squared minus 7 into x plus infinite change in x plus 6 close the bracket minus into 2x squared minus 7x plus 6 close the bracket. That's what we have here. Then this 
will give me infinity change in y is equals to in bracket i will have two which will give me x squared plus two x infinity change in x plus infinity change in x squared i close the bracket minus seven into x plus infinity change in x plus six i close the bracket minus in bracket 2x squared minus 7x plus what 6 I close. This 7, remember? This is my 7. Somebody will ask me, how did I get this? Somebody say, how? How did you get this? I remember, I recall that we said x plus infinite change in x r squared is the same thing as x plus infinite change in x into x plus infinity change in x. I think you know that. You remember? Then now this line is something like this. Therefore, let's see. x plus infinity change in x in brackets into what? x plus infinity change in x in brackets. This is what we'll have. Then let's see. I'm going to use mental expansion to do that. The first action will be this to this, which give me the first action, and that give me x squared. You see it? This man turns this, give me the first action, which is the first deal. The second deal will be this to this, which is what? x infinite change in x. Plus, this to this, give me what? x infinite change in x. This is plus this. You remember? What I said? This plus this. And this is the second action. This second action I'm taking. The third action is going to be this to this. That give me the third action, which give me infinity change in x squared. That's this times this. Then, this will give me equals to, the first action is x squared. Second action is this plus this. That's x plus infinity change in x plus x plus infinity change in x that give me 2x infinity change in x the last action is what infinity change in x all squared that means this man is this so remember what i did the first the first action is this to this the first second action is this plus this to this this plus this to this this is what i did and that give me this. The last action is this to this. Then what I want you to know here is that when I say infinity change in x times infinity change in x, it simply means infinity change in x squared. And this is something as infinity change in x all squared. Are you getting what I'm saying that? So when this man times x, I have it. So when it's infinity change in x squared, is this. And when I have this x, times infinity change in x. It's not the same more with x, infinity change in x squared. This is not the same. This is a different item. This is a different item. It simply means x, infinity change in x. That's when I turn 6 to this, I have this. You remember? This time this will give me this, not this. This time this will give me this, or this. I think you're okay by the way. This time this can never be this. Is mean x infinity change in x. This is a different time. This is a different time. They are not like that. So capture it. Have you captured it? Have you have you have you, have you, have you put the note on this? Put it in your note before I claim this. Have you put it in your note? Well, let's go and what finish one way break. You have seen how I got that. So let's see how we finish the rest. Then look at this. I have now opened the bracket. I can now open the bracket to set infinity change in y is equals to open the bracket. I will have 2x squared plus 2x. If you open the bracket, these two will multiply everything in the bracket here. That gives me 2x plus 4x infinity change in x plus 2 infinity change in x squared. Then I come over here. Minus 7, remember this is minus 7, times x will give me minus 7x, minus 7 times this will give me minus 7 infinity change in x. Then this is the plus, plus 6. Opening this one as well, 
opening this one minus two times this minus times two give me minus two x squared minus times minus will give me plus seven x minus times plus will give me minus six i think you have seen what i did here then when i have opened the brackets what happened this man which is plus two x squared we kill minus two x squared plus seven x we destroy minus seven um we destroy i mean to say what i want to do here plus seven x we kill minus seven x then minus six we kill plus six are you following what i'm doing minus plus seven x minus seven x they will destroy themselves my plus six minus six will destroy themselves minus two x squared and the plus two x squared will destroy themselves i think you know what we are doing when you collect like that this will cancel themselves are you getting what i'm talking about this is a plus two x and i have minus two x here minus two x squared this is a plus two x squared when they come together they will just destroy themselves minus 7x plus 7x jump together they disappear plus 6 minus 6 they will disappear and that's what remain will be if it's changing y equals to 4x if it's changing x which is this one plus 2 if it's changing x squared then what remains is minus 7 if it's changing the x then the last is a finish. Then what is common here? I can see that infinity change in x is here and also here and it's here and it's common. I have to break it out. And I say infinity change in x, I close the bracket. What does it mean? I can divide through through this, this, this with infinity change in x. When I divide through, I'll have 4x. That's what it means. That this one is common. Plus, when I divide through, I'll have two infinity change in x. Because this man is 2 here, you remember? This is the infinity change in x squared. When I divide it by infinity change in x, it will remain 1. When I divide 2 here, I will have minus 7. That's what I mean. If you open this bracket again, this man times this will give me this. This man times this will give me what? This 2 infinity change in x squared. This man times this will give me 7 infinity change in x. I think you have seen what I did. There's no confusion about that. Right now, in here I have done this. The next action is to say divide through, divide through, divide through by infinite change in x. I'm dividing through by infinity change in x. I will have infinity change in y divided by infinite change in x is equals to infinity change in x into 4x plus 2x infinity change in x minus what 7 divided by infinity change in the x and this will destroy this and what i'm going to have is infinity change in y over infinity change in x is equals to 4x plus 2 infinity change in x minus 7 then after i've done this i will now end it by saying rate of change rate of what change rate of change we say dy dx is equals to lim is equals to lim of the function of x as this is lim i'm talking about lim lim of function of x as x infinity change in x approach zero what does it mean wherever i see infinity change in x in this equation i should put zero for it this word this the statement I'm making here it means wherever I see infinity change in x, I should put it zero in this equation. I will now have that this is equal to 4x plus 2 into 0 minus 7. You see what I did here? 4x. This man is infinity change in x. I have to put it was 0 minus 7. And 2 times 0 will give me 0. Therefore, my dy my dx is equals to 4x minus 7 and that's my what answer for this question so using 
First principle, immediately you have collected common index, you divide through by inflicted in change in x. Look at the procedure. It's the same procedure when they said the differentiate by first principle. What I did here is what you will repeat. The first thing you have to interpret the formula. Substitute, then expand. After you have expand, the, this will cancel themselves and leave you with a fraction in the remaining. Then that remaining, the implicit change in x must be common to all of them. Immediately you see it, you bring it out. Then the next is divide through by what implicit change in x. After you have done that, the next thing is what rate of change. As implicit change in x approach zero, substitute it in the final and you will have your final answer. And this is what I have for you today. If you love what we are doing in this place, subscribe on this YouTube. It's free. Subscription is free. Share it to your friends. Comment. Your comment will help us to develop. If you comment, we'll be able to tackle. If you have any problem that is more difficult, you can do the comment. You may tell us the problem. And they will resolve it together here. So, love this YouTube channel, subscribe and share and comment. Thank you.